Hi there, my name is Chris Can with Mining Journal, and with me I have Essen Beninaja, who is with the SIK Exploration Team, and it's part of our look at the future of exploration. And in this conversation, we're going to take a look at analytics in strategic management. Hi, Essen. Hi, Chris. Happy to see you. Great to have you with us. I wanted to ask you specifically about SIK's MVAP um, technology. Um, or program. Um, I don't know a great deal about uh, how data science works in exploration and just in general. So I was hoping to just get a, a fairly layman's understanding of, of what it is. I understand it's management and evaluation uh, using the data in exploration. But if you can just give me a feel for what it actually looks like um, in practice. Yeah, sure. Uh, MVAP stands for management and valuation through absolute prospectivity. Uh, so uh, it's, it is a tool that developed uh, in-house in SRK Exploration to, uh, first of all, it can do prospectivity mapping, but it can do much more than that because like a, traditionally all these prospectivity mapping methods are like a, uh, give you a relative probability of where you should look. Uh, we tried in our model to uh, come up with absolute prospectivity of where you can find something. Uh, having uh, absolute prospectivity helps you to actually evaluate different projects because you can like, a, if you have a project somewhere, you have abs absolute prospectivity of finding a deposit there and you can compare it to other projects somewhere else. So this can help you with management and valuing evaluation of these uh, projects. So okay. this was the idea behind MVAP. Okay, I mean, it's a fairly lofty and aspirational objective, absolute prospectivity. Um, the little I do understand about data management and data science and exploration, and just in general, is that you kind of you get out what you put in. So how important is the data that is um, injected into the MVAP um, algorithms, and, and how does that work, and, and what can you put in there? Yeah, sure. That's uh, one of the main uh, hurdles of using data science. Uh, so uh, it's very important to like uh, look at what you are uh, putting in the, to the model. Uh, what we uh, made MVAP based on was based on the mineral system model, which is uh, like a, uh, an understanding based on the geologist idea of how a specific like a mineral model happens in the uh, reality. So we won't throw everything in. We just come up with the layers that we know it's actually leads to a specific uh, deposit model to like uh, happens in the reality. Mineral system models uh, show you the processes that goes into like a, a for, for, that it's needed for, a, for example, specific deposit to happen. If it's close to a specific kind of faults or should it be in a specific geology, this kind of um, uh, like a parameter is used in MVAP. Okay. Um, and is there room for old school exploration uh, expertise in there as well, or is it just all about the data? Uh, so uh, another, uh, like uh, another, uh, thing that we want to improve in like a prospectivity mapping was like a many uh, like a methods previously used like a, a deposit and non deposit places that they are sure there is a deposit and places that they think there is no deposit the issue here is like you never know where is no deposit you if you find a deposit you already know there is one the other places you only explore until you are fairly sure there is nothing there and you just move on because it's expensive to uh, explore so you don't spend money that way so but this uh, this kind of information is also very usable like for example if you some, go somewhere and explore it and don't see anything this is information and you shouldn't throw it away so uh, we decided to use this in our, in our model like the history of exploration in the area can give you an idea of where you can find the deposit and where you like it should just move on and we use this in our model as a our deposit and non-deposit it's a probable uh, like a 
probable data based on yeah the historical exploration so yeah the historical exploration would be very useful in this model yes and that's all we've got time for but thanks very much for joining us yeah thank you very much really happy to see you thank you